Party people, Derek Hallett, UnrealLiving.com. Uh, pretty close to the road, as you probably you can tell by the noise. You can probably see that car going by. Pretty, pretty close to the road. So we did 165 kilometers yesterday, which is my third largest day on the bike, third longest day on the bike, which leaves us only 135 kilometers to get to our next stop tonight, which is uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a big day yesterday. So we're just going to, we literally just woke up and we are going to pack, camp up, get going. It's just after 6.30 in the morning and we're gonna have some juice. We're gonna have uh, maybe some juice, some water, maybe some dates. Get the, get the day kick started. My brain isn't really working yet. I'm still really tired, but we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day on the bike pound out the kilometers pound out the kilometers ah! anyways guys thanks for watching we will catch up with you guys really 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 so Baby! Oh boy, where does the camera today? We're bound on the kilometers! Going down Pacific Highway! All the way down to Canwall! Gonna be in Sydney tomorrow! Oh, good day, good day, good day, mate! We are just about 75 kilometers into today's ride. We have just over 60 left to go until we get to our destination for tonight and i've been thinking well what happened what happened this morning at my first pit stop was that i met a guy uh, his name was Stuart. he's actually cycle touring all the way from uh from newcastle all the way up to brisbane and what he was doing is uh he's what you call a credit card tourist basically he carries absolutely nothing on his bike so no tent no food like he had one extra set of clothes. That was about it. Other than that, he had nothing else on the bike. And when when I saw him, I saw him at the at the uh, at the servo at the service station. And I just thought that it was a guy just out on a ride. Like I thought he was just out, you know, riding his bike, and then he's gonna go home afterwards. And then I started talking to him, and he's like, "Oh, you know, which way are you going?" And I'm like, "Oh, like I'm going down to Sydney, right? I'm gonna then over to Adelaide." And he's like, oh, well, I'm going, I'm going up to Brisbane, and I'm like, what the, f I'm like, what the fuck? Like this guy, like, just looked like he was going out for a ride, and he's, uh, he's touring, and it really kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's inspired me over the past two, two and a half hours of riding. I'm like, I really want to drop the trailer off my bike. I want to drop the trailer off my bike so that you know I lose another, basically another 15, 20 kilo. I can lose another 15, 20 kilos off my bike. If I lose a trailer and I post a few more things all the way to Adelaide. So I'm just thinking, you know, what do I need the trailer for other than touring? And I'm like, if when I get to Adelaide, I can just buy a, uh, a crappy trailer for picking up food and stuff like that. I can buy something secondhand or buy something new for, you know, under a hundred bucks, no problem. And I'm just like, fuck yeah, I don't, I don't really need, I don't need this trailer. And so then it got me thinking, all right, what, what do I, what can I send? What can I post? What do I need? And I was like, yeah, you know, like, ah. Uh, uh. So I've been working this out in my mind and it's, it's going right back to Asia because for the first leg of my Asian tour, I had a trailer, right? And by the end of it, I was like, man, I need to get rid of this trailer. This trailer is just killing me, right? It's just so heavy. It's so heavy, it cause it's hard to handle sometimes when you have it fully loaded. And I'm just like, oh, I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this trailer right now. So it's up for sale. <laughs> it's, gonna be up for sale in Sydney whenever whenever I get there whoever wants to buy it I'm gonna be there all weekend so hopefully uh, you know somebody 
sees a good deal that it that it'll be and wants to pick it up right away. Plus, that'll put I don't I don't really need the extra money in my pocket, but it'll put an extra uh, extra extra a few extra bucks in my pocket. And I mean, it's it's just going right back to Asia. So I mean, after I dropped my trailer in Asia, I was able to do the biggest days on my bike. And even yesterday, I did third biggest day that I've ever done on the bike, 165 kilometers with the trailer. So without the trailer, I reckon I'd be able to do at least 200 kilometers in a day, if not even more than that. And I just have this uh, this addiction. This, it's like this addiction to go to going faster, going farther, and just going further than I than I thought that I could go. And this is kind of like that's like what I find enjoyment in. I don't really find enjoyment in doing. Uh, you know, I did like 70 or 80 kilometers today on the bike. Like to me, it's like it's too easy, right? I need like the challenge. I need the physical challenge. I need the mental, emotional challenge. And just by dropping the weight off the bike and, you know, like I love the panniers on my bike. I'm going to keep those because they're awesome. But just by dropping that extra weight, it's going to give me that ability to go even further. And I, I'm really so I'm I'm stoked for the next 2000 kilometers that I'm going to be doing after we hit Sydney. I'm really stoked for it. It'll it'll allow me to do a thousand kilometers. I could do it in a week. I could do a thousand k in a week, no problem. Then, uh, and that that includes probably a rest day as well. I could probably do close to a thousand kilometers in a week. You know, just kind of doing doing the math in my head, and that's the plan. That's a plan. That's a plan. So, Bob, Bob trailer, you served me well, but you must go. You must go. You're way too heavy for me. And then we'll just be back to the simple the simple setup like we had through a lot of Asia. Anyways, guys, we're gonna keep going for the day. I'm going to keep going for the day. We are going to rock it out, pound out the rest of these kilometers, get a good night's sleep tonight, and then we are off to Sydney tomorrow. Oh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. All right, so we've done 135 kilometers today on the bike. Made it all the way to Canwall, New South Wales here. Tomorrow we're heading to Sydney, but tonight we're spending the night with... Royal Aussie Athlete. Oh, the Grant Campbell. <laughs> Grant Campbell. What are we making tonight for dinner there, Grant? Oh, we're just throwing together some uh, tomato mango celery soup. Got right some, uh, some semi-dried tomatoes I just put in that I dried today. Gonna add some more fresh tomato tomatoes to bulk it up. Nice. And uh, yeah, some celery is gonna go in the food processor. Yeah. Add some crunch. Perfect. Delicious. Deliciousness. This is, a, this is a gourmet meal for me. After eating raisins and dates and fruit juice all day long. Gourmet. And Grant, knowing the fruit bat that I am, actually it got me bananas. <laughs> oh baby. So we got fresh, ripe bananas ready to eat. Already had a bunch uh, for dinner, kind of, or lunch I guess. <laughs> Late lunch, early dinner. And then, yeah, we're gonna smash the rest of those hopefully as many as I can for breakfast tomorrow. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please share the video with your friends and family if you wanna see more of my videos from my bike tour in Australia. Uh, like or dislike the video if you like or dislike Grant Campbell. And, <laughs> and uh, leave your questions or comments below. Cheers guys, have a good night. The finished product. Bon Appetit. Delicious. Uh, mm. How much is there, do you reckon? How many kilos? A few kilos at least? Yeah. Could be, yeah. Oh. Good eatings, good eatings.